Hi, Chris Matson here. Love is always flowing. It's everywhere. Uh, it's kind of like saying space is everywhere. Love is always flowing. And we can attune to this love in any moment. Right now, you're probably hearing a little bit of a wind through the microphone. Yet, try as I may, I can't see the wind, but I see the effects of it. Uh, that's, a, in a sense, what love is like. Now, to attune to it, we simply enter this now moment. Simply, with our whole being, we just uh, receive it. We attune to it. It's like a radio or a, a something where you just you dial into it. Pure love. And I don't have to explain it because your heart already knows. If you're a human being, you already know when I say attuned to love what that means. Right now, uh, you can hear a waterfall, beautiful waterfall. It's filling up uh, the land. It's watering the, this valley. It's uh, blessing the lake. I can't see the waterfall from here, but yet those effects are flowing out anyway. So, as we sit in sending love out, it's having the effects. Right now, the world is going through the Grand Awakening. It's a huge transition. Uh, I kind of think of it like the larval stage of uh, being awakening is when they're in ego and fear and corruption and believing media and outer authorities, right? All of that is the larval stage of an awakening being. That's their beginning. And then from there, they transition into the beautiful butterfly, which is attuning to pure love, being in the now moment, filled with this golden light. And just like you are wherever you are, just like that beautiful, uh, this love, wherever you send it, it goes. It's like the wind, wherever it's sent, it, it is, right? Uh, so I make a practice every day. I sit in nature, uh, oftentimes around here. And for quite a while, I just enter the now moment knowing that paradise, heaven, literal heaven is not a place, it's a state of being. And so I enter that. And then from here, I send this beautiful love out, this healing to the world. Just whatever is coming up and arising, send love to it. Every flower in this field here, there's millions of them, um, they are an aspect of the valley. They're bringing beauty to it. And every time we send out this thought, this energy, this, this wave of love, we're like adding flowers to the collective field. And it's so important. Now, uh, on the lake here, we have all these waves. They're flowing there, and you know, each one of those is is an aspect of the lake, though. And in that very same sense, you, as you send out this love, you are having an impact on the whole. Uh, love is like an arrow that always meets the mark when it's shot, right? It's 
the most powerful thing we have. Uh, second to love is a branch of love, which is truth. And so uh, truth speaking is very essential as well. So when we're hearing things, uh, the larval stage of a uh, being is an ego where they will lie and all these different things to, you know, entice uh, people for their agendas. And so in the collective consciousness right now, there is a shift into the golden age from this larval stage. So what is being exposed now is all of the, uh, what is that larval stage of the collective conscious, this group that is trying to steer into a very sinister place, you know, uh, but that's not going to happen. And the reason it's not going to happen is because collectively we have now left that larval stage uh, and are entering the mature butterfly stage uh, where we're entering the golden age, right? And so the most important things we can be doing at this time during this transition is spread truth, be the love, and know that if it feels fear-based and constrictive, it is a lie. If it's feeling expansive and, and highest good for all, you know, celebrations uh, together, festivals, joining together, free, dancing, you know, all of these beautiful things, uh, prosperity for all, complete abundance. Uh, those expansive thoughts, we, we hold those vibrations, you know? And that's how we personally have heaven on earth ourselves, And that's how we also expand it so that the whole earth is in this paradise on earth. Yes. Be it. And it's always in this now moment, eh? Maybe I'll do a pan around just so you can kind of see. There's a couple of eagles that are floating around. I don't know where they went now. But yes, it's heaven on earth. Uh, the inner environment. Your inner environment is way more important than the outer.